Hello everyone. I'm going to walk you through how to take the proper measurements for your before and then after. So first things first is whatever you're wearing, you want to be like at least pretty tight or you can do this in just a bra and underwear. That's totally fine. The biggest thing is you want to wear the exact same thing you wore for your after measurements as well. So whatever you wear right now, whatever you take your pictures in, that's what you're going to do for the after. Exact same clothes, everything. So first, we're going to talk about just taking our pictures. You want kind of a clear background. I like to have ladies just stand like this. Front, side, or hands down, whatever you prefer. If you do it up, you'll be able to see more of anything on the back that we may be working on. And then back, you can do like this or go down. So clean background, same clothes. These pictures are for you to keep documenting for yourself. So if you want to take some more pictures throughout the thing, you can always update um, the app. And if you push history, it saves everything. So whenever you update something in the app, it'll always save it. So we're going to go into my results. And we're going to every round, you're going to take new pictures. So you're going to upload your pictures, push save that section. Now we're going to do measurements. So to measure your chest, I'm going to be documenting this as well because I haven't taken mine in a while. Um, we're going to do chest. When I want you to do chest, you're going to go middle of back or upper middle back. And then you're going to go just right over essentially your, the, um, the chest line. So it's not going to be up high, not going to be below it. You're just going right, oops, right over it. And whenever you do an, a work, Whenever you do a measurement, you're going to go and exhale. Okay, so that's a 35. You're going to put that in. I'll do all this later. Um, and then now we have two inches above the belly button. So my belly button's right here, so about two inches. Basically, you're going to be doing all parts of the waist because it all goes differently. Same thing, two inches above belly button. Inhale. Exhale, don't push out, but you just want to take a nice inhale and then take the measurements. Then I believe we have two inches, we have actual belly button. So we're gonna go right over your belly button. You're gonna do the same thing, inhale, exhale. And just on the exhale, when you just wanna be relaxed when you're taking before and after measurements. You're gonna take that, and then you're gonna go two inches below. So it's kind of hips, but it's so honestly that lower belly. Nobody wants to measure, but we should. So you're going to do inhale, exhale, two inches below belly button. Now, that is where the most change is going to happen. Hence, trim your waistline, trim, because we're really working on the midsection as a whole for your biceps and mid thigh. I do want to say this. There's not going to be a ton of change on this. It may be a bigger change, I would say closer to six to eight months. But your thighs and your biceps, it's more of just keeping track of full body. It's not gonna be the biggest change. So to do your thigh, you wanna do mid thigh. So halfway in between your hip bone, your knee right there. So you're gonna do, you don't have to do a breathing thing on this, but you do want to stand up. Sometimes it's good to have someone else help with this one because um, you wanna just stand. You don't wanna be bending down. You don't wanna be changing the muscle flexion. We're not flexing during any of these. So you just wanna make sure wherever it is, you can stand up. Um, and like I said, that can be help for someone else. Now the bicep, I can't show you this because you will need help with this, but when you do your bicep, you I want you to just put your arm up like this. Not flexing, just I want you to put it up there and then I also, what I don't want to do is see indentation in the arm. So you're literally just gonna be going softly around it and that's all you're going to be doing. So you're going to be doing those. If you don't have one of these measuring tapes, that's fine. You can use string. I think most houses have the metal ones, the metal measuring tapes. Um, you can just use string. So you're going to put string around you. You're going to see what it is, and then you're going to measure that on a ruler or whatever you have. So you can just use string as well. Um, these are the best to get in when you are I would do it first thing in the morning because when we do our after stuff to see our progress and our results, we're also going to do it in the morning. So same time of the day, same clothes. Um, 
and then have the same person help you if you do have assistance with doing it. So get those in. It's very important to be able to track your progress. Like I said, if you are new, you're going to have nothing in there right now. So it's all going to be fresh. If you're returning, you can go ahead and update your before pictures to be so before this round. And then, like I said, everything you, every time you hit save, that little history button in the top left corner, it's going to save it every time. So you're going to see your history so you can keep doing that. Now, if you are going to be updating throughout the round, which is fine because I want you to, if you want to keep taking pictures, you can just take the pictures and keep them on your phone. Or when you submit your results, I would just let us know, be like, hey, these weren't my before before. I'm going to email you those. Um, and then, or we can know that we need to look into your account and pull the actual befores. But yeah, go ahead, take your measurements and 